Starting any business at all can be a bit challenging. Talk more of Nigerian snacks business that the market is already saturated. We did a part one of this video where we talked about start market and make millions as profit. Now we are in the part two. In this part two, we'll be talking about how to cope with the beginning period of your business, how to raise capital, even as a stay at home mom, tips on expansion, and also how to market your change if you are into Nigerian changing business. If this is your first time of stopping by my channel, you're so welcome. And if you've been here before, good to have you here once again. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe, do like this video, do thumbs up this video. They'll be helping somebody who wants to know more about starting up Nigerian snacks business. Now let's go right into the video. Now we're going to be going about we're going to be taking how to market Nigerian changing as the first. Now, if you are into changing business, I'm going to give you tips on how to market. One thing you must do when you are into your changing business is that make sure your packaging is unique. Now, there is this popular way of packaging, packaging Nigerian changing, sorry, that is in a container, a transparent container or a transparent bottle. And it seems everyone, everybody is doing the same thing. Everybody, they are just doing the same thing. If you want to easily market your changing, just is going to be different. When I mean, make sure your packaging stands out. Now, they have changing that are into small small packs already produced by company and this has made the market even more competitive now i would advise that you use a very attractive and unique packaging then that is for that the number two tip i'm going to tell you is that visit eateries visit shopping malls visit big supermarkets and market your brand if you watch the past one of this video you hear me talking about market your brand you want people to buy from you let them know what you are selling now you can go to eateries and tell them that you make lovely changing and you make exceptional changing that they can buy from you and also sell to their customers eateries are places that you can easily sell your changing your changing recipe and make profit because people don't really price or bargain when they buy things from eatery so if you can package yours in an exceptional manner and you are able to win the heart of the owners or the manager of the eatery and they see that people love what you are making then they will not hesitate to to partner with you now when you are going to meet eateries make sure you meet more than one eateries do not get discouraged meet more eateries meet you can meet five ten some of them will tell you yes some of them will tell you no do not worry just keep going just keep asking also look at big supermarkets these are places you can also sell by packaging your changing differently discuss with the owners of the supermarket tell them you'll be supplying them weekly tell them you'll be supplying them monthly well it could be every day it could be weekly it could be monthly depending on how you want it to be also make flyers i always talk about making flyers make flyers and also give parents give family give people that will like this changing recipe of yours i also advise that you make your changing recipe in different packages you can have premium quality changing you can have regular changing just give your changing names that makes it attractive that makes people want to buy for me because they really want to know why is it premium changing you understand that kind of thing so give you make your changing and package it in a way that nobody does that will help you to stand out you can make flyers give to people in charge give to people give to parents like you go to school to pick your kids share these flyers to parents i remember when i was into um I had, I was into those babies business. I had kids. I was, I had this kid's business at the time. And I remember taking my flyers to hospitals where they are pregnant women. It's even church where parents come to children's church to pick their kids from school. I would drop my flyers there. I was marketing on Sunday after church or market or Monday. I was marketing. I was new into the business. And I realized that the initial customers I got were those that bought things for me uh, as a result of the flyers I shared. And some of them even went and called more customers because they felt ah your customer service was excellent and they went to bring other persons to buy for me so markets now the media is another platform you can market your changing if you can run facebook ads on facebook you can run instagram ads you could budget on that and see that you want to market your changing gg is there if you're in nigeria gg app you can post your changing recipes there for free all these are ways that you can market some of them will cost you money some of them will not cost you money when you market on gg you may help you may even get people from other states trying to order your changing if they know that the way you package it is attractive they'll be like see i just saw your adverts on so, so so and so on gg on facebook and i love the way you package your changing can i be buying from you wholesale you know so don't still sit down there and say ah god bring customers you have to go out and look for these customers and keep 
marketing. I always say it, keep marketing. So that is how you can market your changing business. Don't look at your state alone as where you can find customers. You can find customers from other countries. You can find customers from other states. Depending on how you brand your changing, how exceptional your changing taste and how well it is packaged. People want to buy things that taste good and also look good. So that's for that. So if you are into changing business and you think these tips have been of help to you, do like, do share, and do subscribe. Now, if you have started your Nigerian snacks business and you are going and you have started selling and you're having a, some challenges, which I know you would, because it is normal with businesses, any business you start, there is this thing I call the beginning challenge of your business. There's this big the beginning period of your business comes with its own challenges. So this is how you cope your Nigerian snacks business. One major thing you're going to face when you start is that the sales won't come the way you want it. Even if you put in the marketing, even if you put in the effort, it doesn't mean that you are not doing well. That is just how business is. Business takes time to grow and you have to understand that. Do not get discouraged. Do not feel bad. That, Am I sure I'm really doing it? Just be optimistic and keep going. One thing you must do at the beginning period of your business is be consistent. Do not get discouraged about the low sales or low turnout. For example, be consistent with your timing. When I mean timing, if, if you are somebody that is going to start your business at 9 a.m. at a particular spot, make sure your 9 a.m. is 9 a.m. If you are somebody that starts your business at 12 p.m., depending on how convenient it's going to be for you, make sure your 12 p.m. is 12 p.m. Be convenient with your time in the time of your resumption or the startup time of your business daily. Secondly, be consistent with the taste of your snacks. Now, this tip is very important. Make sure that when you are making your snacks, have the weights, the ingredients, their measurements written down for various quantities of your snacks. There are lots of videos that I dealt with that issue with so many videos on my channel. You can check them out. In fact, I'm going to put the playlist in the description box. It talks about various Nigerian snacks, their measurements. It's really be of great help to you. Make sure you are conversant with these measurements. If you are making your meat pie 20 pieces and somebody comes to buy meat pie today, let it taste exactly like your meat pie the next day. Do not have varied taste. It will make people not to trust you. So make sure you are consistent with the taste of your snacks. And one way you can do that is getting the accurate equipment. For example, you going into Nigerian snacks, one major thing you should get is a digital weighing scale or a weighing scale. It mustn't be digital. There are manual weighing scales. There are digital weighing scale. I love the digital weighing scale because it is very accurate. It picks the slightest weight. So it makes your weights to be more accurate. Make sure you get them. They are not so expensive. This will help you make prevent unnecessary mistakes like adding too much sugar adding too much salt or adding too much pepper to your meat pie filling or too much salt because you will be be meticulous about your business in the sense that pay attention to detail even if it's your filling you are making the salt you are going to add the pepper weigh them down and write them down and anytime you want to make your recipe make sure you have your weight make sure you weigh them first before making them daily this will give your snacks the exact same taste every time so that people will not come and say, ah, yesterday's snacks, your snacks tasted better than today. Tomorrow, they will say, ah, your snacks taste don't they change you. See, one reason why people buy from you is because they love the way your snacks taste. That is one reason. So, they want, it's that taste that brings them back. So, you are just starting and people have tasted your snacks and it's okay. It will take a while for, the, for, for you to start having more customers. And they come a second time and the taste they had that first day is different from the taste they are having today. They will not come back again. They will say you are not serious. That ah, they won't show. You were the one that made the one they tasted that day. So your measurement should not be something you should take for granted. Have a book. Write it down. Everything you add to your snacks, your filling, depending on the Nigerian snacks you are going into, write them down and weigh them. So that every day you first of all weigh them before making your snacks so that you have the same taste all the time. Another thing is that be consistent with your customer service system or technique or style. Whatever way you want to put it. Now, if you're somebody that smiles, please smile every day. <laughs> Some people, as small as that smile is, that's what is going to bring them back to you as customers, to become repeated customers. They may even bring people and say, I like that lady. She smiles a lot. I like buying things from her. It is as simple as that. Be consistent with your customer service style. If you smile at people, if you tell them thank you, if you, whatever words, be consistent with it. Um, they are... Um, um brands we know that have some phrases that they use and once they start doing their adverts you know you just know the next thing they are going to say that is their marketing style 
they've been consistent with it you know uh -huh. so also have your marketing style and be consistent with it people shouldn't come to buy for me today are you smiling hello good morning how are you doing ah, like, okay and you sell today and the next day hello good morning they'll be like even if you are not feeling happy please <laughs> as long as you want to make this money smile smile is one thing that oh my god it is so free but it does magic when people come to buy for you one way smile even if the business money has not come imagine yourself selling my dear be consistent with your smile hello good morning and even when you employ staff teach them to say let them get used to smiling the people will know that our people love smile treat your customers well be consistent with your marketing style choose your marketing style if it is smiling if it is um adding an extra snack to your customers maybe if they buy like a particular quantity you add an extra one for them whichever customer service style you would like to do for them or if they see that they keep buying you give them a discount because they bought a particular quantity whatever marketing style whatever um customer service style you're going to be using make sure that you are consistent with it these are some of the reasons that bring customers and that keep customers another thing you must yeah another thing you must do is that be consistent with your marketing i i talk about marketing don't say okay i did market the first week i started my business i'm not going to market again who does that pick milk is still marketing cowbell is still marketing in fact i noticed that brands that stop marketing easily goes out of business um name them coca-cola yes that is a very popular brand that has been marketing since when I was a child and they are still marketing. Everywhere you see their adverts, they have made varieties of their products. The one that has low sugar, you know, be consistent with your marketing. Every month have a budget for marketing. Even if your business is big and it has expanded, my dear, keep marketing. Marketing is like a foundation of business that you that must be there to keep the business standing. That is the way I define marketing. It's like a basic foundation of your business that, you know, when you build a house and a house has foundation, you do not say you take out the foundation because you have completed the house. No. That is what keeps the house standing. When you start the house, the foundation is the first thing you do. And when you build the house, the foundation may not be seen, but the foundation is still there because that's what will keep the house in place. That's marketing for you. When you start a business, you market. When the business is big, you keep marketing. It's a foundation that keeps starts the business and keeps it in place. It's one major pillar one major pillar of foundation i'm just trying to use an illustration that will get you so every month have a budget for marketing if it is five thousand naira, you know you can market with that month keep it maybe when you started you may not be able to put so much into your marketing because you are just starting off you do not have much money but as god keeps blessing and you keep making more sales do not forget to market Always make sure that you market. Always make sure that you keep marketing. Marketing is a way of telling people that you are there, you have new ideas, you have new tricks, you have new products, you know. You just keep telling people that, yes, there's somebody there. When you stop marketing, people start wondering, are you sure that person is still in business? Marketing is like a way of telling people that we are still here and we are still in business. So be consistent with your timing of resumption. Be consistent with the taste of your product by measuring your ingredients and make sure that you use the same ingredients and their measurements every day for the various quantity of snacks. Be consistent with your marketing. Be consistent with your style of customer service. And finally, be consistent with your packaging. Now, um, have a particular way you package your brand. Don't just make your snacks like every other person tight in white like lemon and give. Really, if you really want this business to grow, if you really want this business to make you millions, if you really want this business to be something that you will look back and say, oh, thank you, Lord, do it in a way that is different from others. Now, there is nothing wrong with you having a nylon that has a label of your name in it. It may just be a white nylon with just a label of your name in it that you can print on for a start. Later, you can take it off maybe to something that looks like a carton with your name on it. Have a unique packaging style that markets your products that people will be like, no, this one is different. See, when your when your product or your brand has a is well packaged, it attracts those that wants to invest. It attracts those that wants to buy from you in large quantity. For example, a manager wants to organize a party for the family and the person needs uh, maybe 500 pieces of premium meat pie. Let me put it like that. That is meat pie that is really rich. And the way you packaged your snacks, we give this person um, the confirmation the person needs that or we convince the person that this person will give me not just regular meat pie, this person will give me quality. Packaging says a lot about you. So 
make sure you spend time to package your goals start from somewhere if it is just in the normal line on both with your name on it just start from somewhere if it's just a carton like paper with your name on it just start from somewhere and make sure you market and package your brand now i'm going to be talking about tips on expansion before we go into raising capital now if you are into your nigerian starts business you're already selling and you're thinking of expanding and you're wondering how to expand you're wondering whether you should expand by increasing your structure in the same place or you're wondering whether you should expand by going to a different place expansion is something that can be a bit challenging it requires capital it requires wisdom and it requires lots of experience but one thing i can tell you about the expansion i hope this tip helps is that uh, if you want to expand make sure that you are ready financially don't be in a hurry to expand expansion will take so much of the profit you have made from the one you are from where you are already and if you are not quite strategic about expansion you may just go bankrupt be gradual about your expansion don't do it suddenly and make sure you are prepared about make sure you have enough finances and make sure the one you are doing the business you are in before you are expanding it maybe expanding it or taking it to a different location make sure that business is solid when i mean it has grown enough to handle the cost of expansion so do not be in a hurry to expand you can stay in a location for two three four five years make sure that that business is solid enough so that when you're expanding that other business will not suffer now you must also make sure that um you get your location right look at the location where you started before and what kind of location grew your business for example if your first location that made your business to grow up was a school environment or a busy junction you have to repeat the same thing in your in your expansion you have to look for a similar environment you have to look for a similar location because these are some of the factors that made you to be easily discovered and that made people to patronize you in the first place so you have to repeat the same procedure that is expansion so for example if it was a busy junction look for another busy junction and replicate your business in that area that is how it replicate it if you see our nigerian banks they use this technique they are always by the roadside and when they want to get other branches they don't look for a corner corner or coral they will go back to that same roadside and replicate their structure because they have seen that these locations are locations that has favored them in the past and they just repeat it so if you are looking for banks what comes to your mind is check by the roadside so you are going to replicate the same environment replicate the same structure if your umbrella was green and white you know if your table the, the particular setting that you had in the first location that is what you are going to replicate in the second location this will be very easy for people to identify with you don't be like ah, ah, is it not that person that is ah, ah, is it not uh, so so and so okay yeah it looks the same yes you know they can easily spot you because that was the similar environment they saw in the first one. and they are still in another environment similar to where you started and they are seeing the same thing so that is how you expand expansion is gradual expansion should not be done in a hurry take time to plan the expansion take time to raise the capital make sure that where you started has gotten the footing make sure it is strong enough to handle the expansion needed part time finally let's go to raising capital now some of you may be a at home stay at home mom and you want to go into nigerian snacks business or any business at all and your major challenge will be raising capital number one advice i will give you when starting up a business about raising capital no loans <laughs> no loans i can't say this enough do not take loans loans are like um um how i don't know i don't know how to put it but i would say loans are like eating the profits of your business even before you start that is the way i see loans they are like eating the profits of your business even before you start do not take loans if you want to start nigerian snacks business or any business at all i'm not talking about other business but just the general advice you can take this advice of mine you cannot but if you try starting a business on loan you will regret it now the little business you have that uh, you are trying to grow and the little profit you are making that you may be trying to invest back into your business you will not use that profit that is supposed to expand your business to pay loan that business is just heading for destruction or heading or heading for the end it is heading for the end the business just want to end <laughs> do not take loans ah my dear if you meet those that are taking loan for business they do not have good experience so 
do not think loans. So I've taken loans and I tell you that loans in business, oh, 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 you'll be happy when the money comes. By the time you buy this, buy that, start the business, you'll be depleting to profit and make you business to pay loan. The business will not be going down. The shop or whatever it is, I did this for one of my business, baby business. The shop I thought we full, I will still drain the shop again it to pay loan. In the end, I'm back to square zero. The loan, the loan did not do anything. Do not use loans. One way you can raise capital is discuss with friends and families that you believe that are able to raise the money. Now, when you meet friends and family, tell them that you want to start up a business, make them understand the business and tell them that you will pay them within a particular time frame. It could be in six months time. It could be eight months time. Don't tell them next month. Be realistic. There's no business that works like that. It takes time to go. Tell them six months, eight months. What this does is that it gives you time to start up the business. It gives you time to grow the business to an extent and it also gives you time to um, re reinvest your profits into the business to expand it a bit before paying back your loan and you won't pay back with profits that's the good thing about asking friends and family members there are some friends and family members you know that are able to raise this money for you another thing is that you can tell them that let them just assume that you are um, um, helping them keep the money and please, I beg you, those of us that collect loan, I beg you, we do this thing and this is bad. Somebody is giving you 100,000 Naira as loan, for example. Make sure that when paying the money back, don't pay the person in bits and pieces. So more for that's one thing that discourages people to borrow you money. People borrow you this money probably from their savings and they're like, okay, I'll use this money for so-and-so and so when this person gives me back. And you now pay them 5,000, tomorrow 2,000, next tomorrow 3,000. You tell them that I take the money, I don't want to spend it, no? That's not good. That is not good. Even if you don't want to spend the money, keep the money in a particular bank account that you will not touch so that you can gather the money. When the money is complete, keep them. You can add an extra 500 Naira. You can add an extra 1,000 Naira just to appreciate them for the loan. You must appreciate these people because if you take this loan from the bank or from microfinance bank, you know the kind of profit you, you will pay back. So for them to have given you, don't give the money out to them in bits and pieces. You make the money useless for them to use. That's just a word of advice. So and so that's for that another way you can raise money is that um some of us as uh as um, stay at home mom our husband gives us monthly um, um upkeep money not every woman though. some lucky women <laughs> their husband gives them monthly upkeep money so people their husband gives them thirteen thousand monthly some people as high as twenty thousand monthly they are stay at home mom it's not feeding money some ten thousand naira monthly that will say take 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 for your needs my dear that money you can save up something from it even if it's 2000 every month, 3000 keep saving something. You're gradually raising money for your business. Don't spend everything now to buy chop chop things for yourself, to buy clothes and shoes. My dear, you're looking at starting up a business. You're looking at being financially, financially free and you are being wasteful. So you can save up from that business. Another way is our husbands. If you know your husband is somebody that can raise that kind of money for you, talk to him. And when asking your husband for money, make sure that you tell him what you want to use the money for. Be detailed. You can write it down. Write your budget. Write your business plan. Present it to him. He will know that, no, this woman is serious today. This is not the way she used to do things, you know. When you are presenting things to your husband, write everything down and present it to him. If you know, if he sees that you are serious, he can tell you, okay, I'll give you, give me six months, give me two months, and he will give you the money. Then the final way you can raise capital for your business is pray. The Bible will talk about ask and it shall be given unto you. So pray and ask God to provide and trust God to provide money for these businesses for you. Then the final advice I will tell you about your business is that when you have started your business and your business is growing, please reinvest your profit into the business. Reinvest your profit into your Nigerian snacks business. Reinvest your profit in expansion. Reinvest it in buying more goods in bulk. Reinvest it in marketing, reinvest it in branding, reinvest your capital into your business. Don't be in a hurry to start buying those things you love. Give your business time. A time will come, the business will grow so big that you take care of your needs and more. I don't know if these tips have been of help to you. If it has, I want you to like, I want you to thumbs up and see you next time. Bye-bye. Good to have you here.